welcome back. The woman who wrote this book always dreamed of writing, but she didn't start out that way. Her first job was flipping burgers, later she was a singing waitress, and then she climbed the corporate ladder in a wealth management company. You could say she's a rebel. In college, she crashed an all-male fraternity and became one of the first female brothers. They convinced her not to write, but thankfully, she didn't listen. Julie Heisey is an award-winning author and has penned more than a dozen novels, and she's here today to talk about her latest work. Thanks for being here, Julie. Thank you very much for having me. I'm delighted to be here. Yeah, it's so exciting. We're talking during the break, and I, I want to get to your book and talk about it because it's this great mystery, but mm -hmm. I just think it's fascinating, the fact of kind of what we were talking about here, that you were told by your, your friends, your family, your fraternity brothers, <laughs> which is hilarious, yes. not to write. Is that true? That is true. They, they wanted me to do it on the side. They said, get a job, get a job, get benefits, <laughs> get out there. Get and, a regular and, paycheck. A regular paycheck and do something that you could, you could survive in the world and then write on the side. But it's, it's almost impossible to write on the side and, and make it a, a real career. You know, I know somebody who's struggling with that right mm -hmm. now and their family, same thing, not supportive of them trying to be a writer, saying mm -hmm. get a job, do that. And I think there's a lot of people at home maybe trying to start their own business yes. or writing or whatever you're doing, you know, where you're getting that backlash almost like okay you need to give it up now and get a paycheck and get those benefits what made you decide you know what I'm not gonna listen to them I'm gonna do what I love it was what I wanted to do since I was like six years old there was nothing I wanted more and I and I knew that there was going to come a day when I wanted to do it and and I was hitting a milestone birthday a little while ago and <laughs> and I said um you know, it's either now or never. Do I want to be 150 years old, sitting in a rocking chair and looking back and saying I never tried? Mm -hmm. Right, lamenting. Right. Now those people right. mean well, so you can't yeah. you can't no. really be angry with them. They want to make sure that you're taken care of. They love you. Mm -hmm. Right. And and the business major was actually a good thing. It helps me because I do run this as my own little business. So it it it's helpful. It is, it hasn't hurt. So how many how many books did you write before you kind of got picked up by a publisher or any of that? Um, I have one that's. 190 pages that is really terrible and no one will ever <laughs> read that. <laughs> Walk away. Exactly. Throw the key. And Writers then the next one about all of their pieces. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so true though. It's so true. But the, the, the first novel I finished, uh, I, it went through a lot of revisions, went through a lot of rejection, but that is my first novel that was ever published by a smaller, by a smaller, smaller traditional publisher yeah. who goes mostly out to libraries and things. They were great though. They were mm -hmm. great. And it got my foot in the door and then it sort of built from there. And you've written a dozen now. Right, total. right. This is my 12th novel. I'm, I'm very excited. And it just came out yesterday. Yeah, so, and it's yeah. called Grace Among Thieves. That's right. Let's talk about it. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. It's the third in the Manor House mystery series featuring Grace. Mm -hmm. It was Grace Under Pressure, Grace Interrupted, and now Grace Among Thieves. It's going to be fun coming up with titles. And uh, it's set in uh, Marshfield Manor. Picture something like the Hearst Castle or Biltmore Estates. Okay. And I named it Marshfield because I miss Marshall Fields. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like a little homage to Marshall Field. <laughs> and, it. and it's this big, beautiful place, which is a great place, a great location for, for murder mysteries. So I like to say, come for the tour, stay for the murder. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. And of course, Grace can't leave it alone. Right. She, she has right. to get involved. Right. She's an amateur sleuth. It's a traditional mystery. It, uh, she, she has to rise above herself. She has to pull deep within and try to solve these mysteries of all these murders that happen under her watch, poor okay. thing. <laughs> who, who is this good? Who's, a, who's the reader of this book? Is there an age frame? Um, I would have to say uh, generally like 18 and up, although they're clean enough that if you have a 13-year-old niece or something, they're, mm -hmm. they're fine. Okay. They're fine. So, so anybody who really likes those mysteries and yes. a little bit of action would Mystery be a really lovers. good reader. Absolutely. Is there going to be more? Because you said, you know, I'm, I'm excited to come up with more titles. Yes, yes. I signed a contract for three more. Wow. Uh, so that's so that's great. So I have to come up with uh, three more storylines. Do you like the way she says it? I have to come up with. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because now you have a job. Right. That, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. <laughs> Fortunately, I adore this job, you know, and I, I, I love it. I wake up every morning so happy. But I'm working on number four right now, which I'm tentatively calling Grace on a plane, but we'll see. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I, and I heard it here first. Grace on a plane. <laughs> and I have another series I, uh, with the same publisher that I'm, I'm writing at the same time. So it's two books a year. I think it's always, we always ask authors, you know, who, who their inspiration is mm -hmm. or who they like to read. Is there, is there somebody that really kind of made you want to be a writer? Because you said Absolutely. since you were six. Absolutely. I would have to say Nancy Drew. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Because I want, I want to be Nancy Drew, and this is my opportunity to be Nancy Drew. Aww. Because I can solve mysteries and kind of in the comfort and safety of my own little computer screen. Um, Ray Bradbury, 
I adore Ray Bradbury, and and though I don't write anything like him, I I love to read him for inspiration. And Sue Grafton, okay. um, the A is for Alibi, you know, mystery series. Mm -hmm. the oh, they're they're wonderful. There's there's many 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 more, but those are probably my top. And then some lucky buyers are actually going to be able to get some autographed copies, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. I'm going to three bookstores today. Um, oh boy, I'm gonna not remember all their names right now. I know you've got Barnes and Noble okay. in Kenosha. You've you got do. the next chapter in Mequon. I'm mm -hmm. not sure where the third one is. Um, those are the two I knew of. It's Downer. In oh the yeah. Downer? Okay. Uh, yeah. On uh, uh, what is it, Katie? It's um. Next, Next chapter, chapter bookshop okay. on yeah. Downer. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. so so there we go. Um, okay, so yeah, I think three. there are three. So that's wonderful. I love your energy. <laughs> I, I can imagine that your book writing is just as energetic. So I enjoy it.